my name is Marin McRae, and I'm a professor with the University of Waterloo. David Logg from the University of Manitoba, Maggie Rommel from the Canadian Water Resources Association, and I are the water issue leaders bringing you the water issue of on-farm nutrient capture and recycling. Let me briefly introduce you to this important water issue. The big water issue that we would like to tackle is the eutrophication of Lake Winnipeg, the largest of the lakes in Western Canada. As a consequence of increasing eutrophication, algal blooms are increasing in frequency and extent over the past few decades. These algal blooms pose a significant ecological threat to the lake and an economic threat to those whose livelihood is derived from the lake. In 2013, Lake Winnipeg earned the title of the most threatened lake in the world by the Global Nature Fund. Now, this is not unique to Lake Winnipeg. We're also seeing issues in Lake Erie and elsewhere. So what can we do about this? To improve water quality, we either have to keep nutrients on the fields and prevent losses, or we have to capture them and trap them and somehow reuse or recycle them after they exit the fields. Many management practices to date have tried to prevent losses from the fields. And while these can be somewhat effective, the climate and other landscape conditions that are prevalent in the West have made this a challenge. So capture and reuse is another option, but it too has to work in this very level frozen landscape, which of course is a challenge. Capturing and reusing nutrients before they're lost from the agricultural landscape could be done on the field, at the edge of the field, or downstream from fields. And it could be done at a range of different scales, from the farm scale, field scale, subwatershed scale. There are a few practices that have been developed to achieve this form of nutrient recycling, and there are most certainly other practices that could be developed if a few bright minds come together to tackle this challenge. So water management within the watershed, particularly at the farm scale, is key to reducing the delivery of phosphorus to Lake Winnipeg from agricultural sources. The capture and reuse of phosphorus coming from farmland has the potential to substantially improve water quality in the lake itself and throughout its watershed. Thank you for listening to our water issue and we look forward to having you join this challenge. Please sign up for the Aqua Hacking Western Canada Challenge. Hackers, start your engines.